you can enable auto saves in Roblox Studio to prevent data loss in crashes. You can configure this feature with going to file and then settings. Go to studio tab and find auto recovery in there. Auto recovery path is where will auto recovery files will be saved to. You can change that path if you want. Auto recovery enabled checkbox shows if auto recovery is on or off. If your place is so big and if auto saves are occupying your work, you can disable. Auto recovery interval indicates how often you want your work to be auto saved. It's in minutes and default is 5. There are two ways of creating auto saves. One of them is testing the game, it'll create a save in every test. And one of them is interval time, it'll auto save each time interval time has passed. We'll test auto saves, and we have a script here which is disabled for now. I'll enable it. Here's a script. This will crash studio with spamming events. You can save your auto save folder with clicking on this text. Mine is there, and I'll keep that window open. If your game crashed without this file open, you can navigate to that directory easily. I'll play the game. You can see that script error. This usually saves the game from crashing, but with spamming events, it'll crash when we make it into game. As you can see, studio is frozen completely. You would potentially lose the work you have done, but you can open the auto save file and you'll have the place back. As I said, if you didn't have this window opened, you can navigate to your auto save directory manually. Here's our game back. You might lose a little of the work you have done if your auto recovery file couldn't create before the testing, but it's definitely better than losing all the work. Keep in mind auto recovery files are being deleted if you close them after opening, so it's very important to save it or you will lose it forever. That was it for this video. Hope you understood. See you in another one.